Good afternoon. Welcome to the Painted Soldier podcast. Uh, Today is Tuesday, February 25th, uh, 2020. Hey, I just wanted to uh, do a podcast today and I'm also doing a video. Uh, I'm recording this for a YouTube channel. Uh, I think it's pretty important, uh, one, to get this stuff uh, clear from me. And uh, two, to maybe help some other people who are going through what I'm uh, about to talk about. Because <clears throat> I usually am uh, pretty transparent about my life and get to share and stuff. And So, uh, anyhow, we'll just jump right into it. So, um, as some of you know, through Facebook and text messages and stuff, last uh, Friday, I ended up uh, pretty sick with a real high fever, a bunch of stomach pain. Um, some more minor fevers on Saturday, but I ended up at the uh, urgent care <clears throat> down the road, and uh, they sent me to the hospital right away where they thought it might have been appendicitis, and I was kind of leaning that way too. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of hoping that's what it was because that's a pretty easy fix, quick surgery, and um, and it's done. Uh, but through a bunch of tests, uh, found that there's more inflammation. In my intestines and um, actually in a couple places other places uh, that I didn't have uh, I've never had inflammation before uh, with my Crohn's disease and another fistula uh, due to a stricture that I have and I was kind of set back uh, when they told me uh, I've been through this, this is 25 years I'll be 50 here in August it'll be 25 years that I've had Crohn's disease I've been so blessed I'm not going to lie to you, I've, uh, I've had minimal uh, evasive, I mean I have a lot of evasive testing, but I've had minimal uh, surgery, I've had no removal or resections, uh, but some explorations in my gallbladder and some other simple things. Uh, so I've been blessed uh, with that, but you know, um, I'm never like, uh, Lord, I don't get it, why, you know, frustrated obviously, not going to lie about that, I was frustrated. Um, but so the Lord's been speaking to me. Uh, one thing about health issues is it always presses you in to, well, it can, sometimes you can just get pissed off at God and then be done with it. Like I was when I was 25. Um, but lately it just presses me harder into him to seek him. And, uh, to be honest, um, been there's a lot going on there's been a lot going on in my life this last year um, I've been off medicine I've been pretty healthy Uh, so I've been you know running pretty free uh, as far as from any physical ailments and stuff and uh, so I I run a full-time ministry as you guys know and what I mean by full-time ministry is I do travel I speak preach um, you know, minister to some people. Uh, lately, I've been ministering daily to a couple people uh, via phone or whatever. I uh, do a lot of um, do a lot of stuff in ministry, and that doesn't really. It's all poop. Apart from the Lord, if it's not of Him, uh, it's crap. I'm not like, hey, look at me. I do a lot of stuff, but so that in itself is a lot. And uh, so I have two part time jobs. Um, my eyes get real big. Woo! Uh, in the video, you'll get to see that if you go check it out, but. But anyhow, two part-time jobs, one here doing maintenance, um, 16 hours a week, Cube Smart, and then another nine doing maintenance at Planet Fitness. Um, so they're separate, um, but n- n- they're not easy. Uh, the maintenance isn't like standing somewhere um, doing stuff. There's, there's a, some physical work involved with that. Plus uh, going to the gym, um, you know, very, I, I want to say religiously because it is religiously, but i um, very disciplined to go and continue to work out uh, with my body. And uh, that's just, that's my time stuff right there. And, um, you know, and then I got a truck, got some guitars, got a motorcycle. I got a lot of pretty much everything, um, you know, because I work and we, we work and we work a lot of hours, Shane and I do. And um, we're able to take care of things. We went for many years really uh, relying on others and uh, you know, just scraping, um, and it doesn't make it right. It doesn't. I'm not. That's well. It is. I'll get there in a minute. But um, 
I've had some very good ministry um, over the last several, well, even since the beginning of 2020. Uh, this podcast that I do, uh, the podcast has been in the top 10 for most of this year. Um, did a youth retreat back in January, which was very powerful. Uh, the Lord moved in a mighty way, moved me, moved them. Uh, there was freedom, there was confession, there was uh, reconciliation, repentance, uh, there was everything. You guys heard about that. I just got back from Ignite uh, with College of Prayer. RPI was very powerful. I uh, got to, to feel the presence and uh, the Lord spoke to me on some things there. And then uh, Shane and I got to, um, you know, lead the prayer room there. And there was some deliverance, uh, not some, there was some good deliverance, some good prayer, good words of knowledge, hard words to deliver. Uh, so God uh, has been speaking and God has been moving. And one thing about the relationship with the Lord is uh, if someone moves, in the if there's a shift in that relationship, um, it's not God. God's consistent. Uh, God is very... Um, deliberate on his relationship with us uh, he has a lot invested in us um, and there's nothing that he doesn't know uh, he knows he knows how it's going to turn out uh, so you know he's he puts things in uh, proper perspective um, so that and puts things in our way and moves things from our way to get us to where he he wants us to be and we make choices, um, but our choices are often uh, swayed by certain uh, situations and things. So I won't get into that because you guys pretty much, if you've ever listened to any other of my podcasts or watched one of my videos and stuff, you probably know how I stand about the sovereignty of God. Um, but what the Lord has been speaking to me is that uh, I've been so busy in my life uh, that I've cut out that special time with him. Uh, even when I do have time to just sit in his presence, because uh, I said that's what I wanted to do this year, spend time and picked up a part-time job and a truck and all kinds of stuff, moving things and doing this and doing that. Um, distractions and thorns. It says uh, in the parable of the soils is thorns or the riches and the um, cares of life. So when you own stuff, you have things you got to do and take care of. Um, so, so yeah, I've been neglecting that time with him. And even when I have had time um, and, and set time aside, it's usually in my chair over there or uh, out there just, okay, Lord, speak to me. And, uh, and then I'll wake up an hour or two later like, wow, that was crazy. I end up just falling asleep and uh, really not engaged in him. And um, this morning... As I was out on the property, I just uh, just had some revelation of where uh, my mind's been, where my heart's been. Um, not only me even neglecting him, but uh, neglecting my marriage. Um, to be honest, uh, Shane and I both, I mean, just staying busy. Like, ooh, go, go, go. And, and um, that's not what we're called to do. That's not what we're about. That's not what I preach. That's not how I usually live. Um, but I fell into that trap. And um, so, you know, with some deep repentance, well, not as deep, but deep, probably probably end up deeper before it's over. Um, some deep repentance. Got to get uh, my priorities realigned. Backed off a day at, at the gym uh, working. I'm going to go to two days instead of three. And uh, I'm going to dedicate way more time to seeking the Lord. Uh, he has spoken to me a little bit about some of my physical stuff that's going on. Um, you know, even physical, I, I started eating all kinds of stuff and uh, taking supplements and that and almost really kind of relying on them uh, for extra power instead of going to the vine, which is really, to me, it's an embarrassing thing uh, that I would be so slowly duped uh, into the enemy's schemes of distraction. Uh, but thanks be to God, I ended up with a fever and some issues to slow me down. And uh, it was funny, the day I was in the hospital there, Sunday, 
uh, when I was in the hospital that the scripture in 2 Corinthians where Paul talks about the thorn in his flesh, uh, which many Bible scholars and, and even I lean towards, it would be a person. His would be instead of more of an affliction because um, in throughout that scripture there is someone who's constantly following him and mocking him. And after he talks about the thorn in his flesh, the messenger from Satan um, that was given to him to buffet him to keep him humble, he says after that so about being even being mocked he's learned to to deal with being mocked and some things and there's a guy that just wouldn't go away but anyhow that's a bible lesson in itself go check it out uh, but with my life um god tends to use my crohn's disease because he knows how much i dread it and uh how much it pushes me to him to get my attention so what does that mean for a podcast? Uh, okay, Dan, you spilled your guts. Uh, we get it. What are you going to do to change things? So I did cut it a day back. Uh, I have a lot of stuff coming up. I've got um, in a couple weeks, I'll be going out to flying out to Ohio, uh, speaking at a church, uh, doing some school assemblies and uh, working on working with and working on uh, the opioid trying to help the opioid crisis there obviously with Christ uh, helping I got nothing and I mean that and it's crazy and uh, it seems the more I've said that lately I've just taken more and more um, that I, you know I've got nothing but I do have this and I've got nothing but I do have this it's really garbage it's all nothing and uh, but yeah but anyhow so um, cutting back on some things uh, re-zeroing in um, taking, taking a break physically. I mean, I'm still going to go to the gym, but I've like cut my weights in half. I got to keep moving. Exercise is good for autoimmune diseases. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to put my priorities back and focus on number one, number two, number three, uh, instead of 10, 11, 12, 15, 22 or whatever. So what does that mean for you guys? Um, I'm pretty vigilant. Uh, I feel I'm pretty vigilant. And uh, it was a slow, that song, Slow Fade, it was a slow fade to get where I'm at. And uh, I just want to maybe bring awareness uh, for you guys to check your surroundings, man. Uh, spring and summer's coming up. Time to do what we do. Sun's going to be out. You know, some people dig into their yard. Some people dig into the beach. Some people dig into baseball and soccer and lemonade and all those good things. And they're, they're not bad in themselves. And I'm not a guy who likes to give disclosures because the bottom line is um, if it pulls us away from Jesus, uh, it's, it's not good. It doesn't matter how good it is. Everything that's in my life, there's not one thing in my life right now uh, that is considered bad uh, under the sun. You know, like the guy would be like, whoa, you can't work out. Or Dan, you shouldn't be helping those people. Or Dan, you shouldn't, um, you know, in themselves, it's not good. But what it has been is caused adultery in my heart, really, from the Lord. Um, adultery, basically, is paying attention and, and following other people and things more than I follow him spend more time with him it was kind of like a split relationship divided heart and um for that i'm just uh repented and um i just am encouraging you guys to dig deep and um just take some inventory and make sure that your intimacy with the lord hasn't hindered hasn't been hindered or doesn't get hindered by the cares or the riches or the things of this life and um if it is make a correction uh, before whatever it is he uses to get your attention uh, because he's jealous for us I did a podcast about that recently it's kind of funny I know when God's speaking to me he's not just speaking to me to speak to you uh, there's things in my life but I've overlooked some of the messages that he's given me lately to give others and I really haven't self-reflected so I'm going to be doing some of that too but anyhow um, yeah, that was, that's my situation. That's my update. And that is my little lesson today to you guys to take some inventory and uh, check out uh, what's all in your life. Ditch what needs to be ditched. 
uh, cut back on what needs to be cut back, increase what needs to be increased, and uh, press into uh, the one who gives us life. Uh, one of my favorite scriptures, if not my favorite scripture, is John 15, 5, where John, uh, Jesus says about him being the vine. Well, first of all, his, his daddy is the vine dresser, and he prunes us uh, to bear more fruit. Right now, I believe this uh, Crohn's disease thing is a little season of pruning. I'm glad uh, for it. I embrace it. And um, But it says that he is the vine, and we are the branches, and apart from him, we can do nothing. And uh, I'm going to do a visual on my video. So if you're a podcaster uh, listening, you might want to go into YouTube because I've, I've known this for a long time, even when I was not even a believer in relationships. So we get our hands, I put my hands together, like gripping them together. And then you get, a, you get just this is a, like a marriage. So your hands are together and you put jobs, you put kids, and you put cars, you put friends. You put things in, and pretty soon, uh, if you put enough stuff between them, you'll start to tear it apart. And I can't even think of how much stuff I've got wedged in my hands, um, you know, that's with, uh, with the, oh, well, my podcast is not, uh, just dropped off. It says my computer ran into a problem and needs to restart. So I guess this video is just going to be it. Um, there is going to be no podcast uh, unless it saved it or whatever. So anyhow, um, okay, so um, we'll just use that visual and let that be an answer, um, a visual answer to, um, to is something pulling me apart from my relationship with Jesus. All right, guys, uh, between this computer and everything that's going on. Uh, I believe I've reached the end of what I needed to talk about. So, all right, guys. Anyhow, um, thank you for, I guess, watching the video since there's no podcast. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, thanks for listening. Anyhow, to uh, the Painted Soldier podcast, uh, when you do go on there, either by Spotify or Messy. And uh, thank you guys for your support, for your prayers. Um, for your comments, for your encouragement. Um, life isn't easy. Um, healthy, not healthy, um, you know, whatever it is, life's difficult for all of us. Uh, not just me, not just you guys, not just the one down the street. Um, and it's getting crazier. Uh, I don't need to even tell anybody that. If you don't notice that, then um, and you need to wake up. But anyhow, guys, thanks again. I don't want to drag this on any longer. Um, yeah, just check it out. If you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, um, check, please do. Uh, it'll update you when I put new videos on. I'm going to be doing some videos on my travels, uh, this year, uh, specifically on YouTube. So go on. It's The Painted Soldier, and I'll have a link on my Facebook here. So, all right, guys. Hey, go be the hands and feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. Love your neighbor. Love your enemy. Pray for those. Uh, pray for your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Feed those who are hungry. If you see somebody cold, give them your jacket. And, uh, man, just be Christ. Don't worry about Sunday morning. Just be Christ. Uh, 168 hours a week for you to get to be just like Christ, even sleeping. All right, guys. Thanks again for paying attention and, and listening. Uh, Y'all be blessed. I'll keep you updated.